Why, hello everyone and welcome! Welcome to Pokémon Sword on Playframe. We got two badges now! I'm very excited about it. And we're supposed to go to the restaurant, which is great. We can finally eat something. It's been ages. You know, I'm kind of curious. Like, I feel like I should maybe check up on the Pokémon anime series at some point. Because I've kept making them, and like, several new series that seem to tie into the games as they come out. And, like, the animation in them has gotten a lot better. Like, uh, it's actually a pretty darn good-looking show now from the clips I've seen. And it would be kind of fun seeing, like, some of these characters, like, I assume that some of these, like, gym leaders and such are represented in those shows. It'd be kind of fun seeing, like, their personalities and voices and whatnot, like, actually getting a better sense of them as characters. Like, I can see the appeal. It's such a very good idea, having a, like, ongoing anime series that kind of keeps up with the games as they're coming out. That's, like, such a very good marketing strategy. I can see why it's effective. Anyway, let's see the guy. Well, this is nice. I'm hungry. Oh, look at the wait staff. Peekish. You're cute. Hello. Welcome to the seafood restaurant, the captain's table. I thank you. Can I just seat myself anywhere or what? What's going on? Chairman Rose comes here incognito, but the word always gets out when he's here. Not very busy today. Danny, let's celebrate your recent victory. Oh, were you invited too? You two know each other, that's great. Come now, please be seated. Ah, we're starving. Holbury is a seafood town. Naturally, if one's going to eat here, the obvious choice is the local cuisine. Everything on the menu is delicious. By the way, how's Professor Magnolia getting along? I'm quite indebted to her, you know. She was the one who figured out how to unleash the power of wishing stars and use that power to Dynamax Pokémon. We would never have been able to create Dynamax bands without her. <sighs> she was saying that there's still so much we don't know about Dynamaxing. It's causing her some worry. She even made me take a power spot detector with me when I started traveling. A power spot detector? That's the device that allowed me to discover the power spots. Locations that emit Galar particles and allow Pokémon to Dynamax. I really appreciate you all being very exposition with me right now. I'm new. I don't like hearing that Professor Magnolia is so worried, though. If only there was something I could do. Sonia, it may be good for you to visit the vault in Hammerlock. I believe the key to unlocking the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon lies in the history preserved there. Understood, Chairman. I will arrange a meeting with Miss Sonia. However, I believe it is about time we get going, Chairman. Hmm? But I've hardly had a chance to speak with Danny. It's regrettable, but I suppose it can't be helped. If something needs to get done, there's no time like the present, after all. In any case, I bid you all farewell. Does he think he's doing me a favor? He's right that the vault would be a good place to look for info on the legends, but... You got the water badge, yeah? Defeating Ness is no small feat. Here's a TM as a reward. Everyone's so generous here. Retaliate. Uh, the user gets revenge for a fainted ally. If an ally fainted in the previous turn, this move's power is increased. Oh, that's cool. Ness is a good friend. Perhaps I should drop in on her. Until next time, Jim Challenger. Bye. They didn't get to eat yet. Oh well. Nice restaurant you all have, and wait stuff. All right, mate. You got both the grass badge and the water badge by now, right? In that case, we're both headed for Motostoke and the fire gym leader Kabu. Oh. Oh, so that's the place where the fire gym leader is. I didn't realize that. How about I share with you a little tip about that leader Kabu? From what I heard, he's holed up now in Galar Mine Number Two, undergoing some special training. If he's in there, then we can't take him on in Motostoke, even if we zip right over there. Putting the brakes on our gym challenge. So I say we had to gather mine number two ourselves. Let's go see what all the fuss is about. I like your thinking. Let's do it. And I guess it's this way. I should have mentioned, by the way, I have swapped out our crew a little bit. Got ourselves a new lineup, including a couple of water types to start training up for our next gym challenge. And also Sir Mallard and Cheesesteak and Raz and Hatticus. So, got a nice little group here. Sort of semi-randomly shuffled. We'll see how this does. Also, I gave Draconth some, uh, moves? A couple of TMs and one TR. Uh, so we've got Waterfall and Whirlpool. Very powerful water Pokémon all of a sudden. <laughs> Very excited to use. Anyway. Let's get a move on, I guess. It's been nice getting to know you, whatever town this is. Herfield. Is it Herfield? No, that's Turfield. What? 
What's this town called? Holbury. Yes, that's that's the one. Nice getting to know you, this place. When you see one of those giant Pokemon while fishing in the wild area, it feels like it's either caught or be or catch or be caught. I haven't run into one of those. I'm intrigued. Is Team Wheel still here? No, they are not. Let's see if we can catch up to Marnie for once. Ah. Back into the mines. Ooh! With new Pokemons. You come here. Oh, look at you. <laughs> A wild Scraggy. Very cute. Intimidate, eh? Attack fell. Hey! Nice! Draconth, you're intimidating. Uh, no idea what type this is, but let's... You know, Waterfall's pretty strong for a starting move. Maybe let's start with something a little lighter, like a bite. Nice little bite. Protect, huh? Huh. Well, Protect works pretty well. Bite again. How... Not very effective, okay? So you're strong against dark type moves. What of water? Try this whirlpool here. Hmm. Trapped in the vortex, which is fine. Not doing a ton of damage, though. I guess it keeps on piling up. So that's nice. And while it's in that whirlpool, let's swap to... I don't know what type it is, but, um... Yeah, once again, no good status effect <laughs> moves on me. I keep on not planning for that. Um, cheese steak. No, you're too low level. We gotta actually catch this thing. Uh, Hatticus. Go do some work. Gotta always have a high level one on the field. Look at this cute thing. So we can catch some dang Pokemon. All right, uh, let's try hitting you with... Hmm. Maybe let's start with a ground move. Pretty good. Stop spitting sand. Not cool. Scraggy. Um... Well, I'm higher level than you. Let's see if you'll fit in a ball. I have a suspicion you will. Stay. Don't get out. Stay. Good. Okay. Excellent. Friends acquired. And experience gained. Everything is going so well. So what are you? Dark and fighting. Okay. If it locks eyes with you, watch out. Nothing and no one is safe from the reckless headbutts of this troublesome Pokemon. All right. You seem cute. Scraggy. Let's give you a name. Congratulations on joining the team, Bart. <laughs> Welcome to the team, Bart. Nice to have you. What the heck is this thing? Very nervous, it seems. Oh, and then there's also you. Goodness, there's so many faces in here. Um, come here. That's kind of cute. Shellos. Seems potentially watertight, but I guess that could just be the blue. I don't know. Um, let's see here. Have a bite. Chomp, and... Hmm, it's fine. I gotta start using quick balls. Okay, it is water. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, and confusing. Nifty. All right. Ow. Darn it. <laughs> Darn confusion. Oh, and it's got recovered too, huh? All right, well, then this is... This is not going to work out. Let's swap out, uh... Folks. Hey! Stop recovering. It is annoying. Um, I 
Eh, let's get Hatticus in here. We don't really have any ideal matchups right now. We all need some more levels. If all the wild Pokemon we're finding now are like 20 plus, then we got some leveling to do. Now, let's see. Um, let's start with a Rock Smash. Why not? Bam! <laughs> Tough little guy. Whoa. The heck was that? That was weird. Get bulldozed, I guess? Get bulldozed. Easy there, Hatticus. Stop it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're gonna have to get you with a quick ball. Tough little thing. No, no, never mind. This might work, unless you keep recovering. Okay, so that's all right. I can live with that. All right, your water type, which means the net ball should work, yeah? Yes, it should. Okay, get in. Stay in. Join us. Join the winning team. Stay. Come on. Yes, all right, good. Good, good, good. I'm excited to learn more about this one. It seems very cute. What are you? It's your water type. All right, just water type. Sea slug. Uh, there's speculation that its appearance is determined by what it eats, but the truth remains elusive. Well, quite cute. All right. Little sea slug. Let's find a name for you. Okay, I have got it. Your name. Henceforth. Will be... Wittershins. Hello. You are going in the box for now. And you're probably going to be followed pretty quickly because, geez, there's so many. All right, we already have one of you. Uh, yeah, gosh, everywhere. And it's another of you. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Geez, the constant recovering on this thing is obnoxious. <laughs> uh, it's down, though. Hooray. All right, I'm starting to think maybe I should put... Hmm. Starting to think I should put maybe one of my higher level ones up front so we can use quick balls on all the friends we want to catch. It's going to speed this up a lot. Uh, there seems like a lot of water types in here, though. So, Hatticus, you go out front. And uh, let's give you that held item. Uh, can I just swap held items? Yeah, like... Bam. Ah, that's nice. That's very nice. Thank you. And let's heal you up to... Just to be safe, you know. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Poke... Potion. Two of them. Perfect. Okay. Ready to roll. Literally, in Wulu's case. Now. Oh. Hi. You again. I'd feel sorry for my Pokémon if I made them take part in a battle against low-level opponents. I'm not in the mood to deal with weaklings right now. Then again, I suppose it's a form of mercy to crush weak opponents early on. If you're under the misguided impression that you're stronger than me, then surely you would be up for a Pokémon battle. Naturally. It's utterly inconceivable that I, the challenger, chosen by the chairman, will lose. Twice. <laughs> Alright, Beatty. I, I kind of want to know how you actually pronounce the character's name, but then I also kind of don't care. <laughs> Alright, just to remind myself, Psychic is weak to Bug and two other things. I want to say Dark and... Ghost. Bug, Dark, and Ghost. That's it. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, let's check our list, just to double check. Uh, okay, we do have a Bug move on Mallard. And a bite move on Dracon. So, okay, we got some options. Uh, is fighting weak to Psychic? Yep. Okay, we're not throwing Mallard out there to die. Uh, maybe Dracon instead. Yes, I think this is a good idea. Let's do that instead. Dracon, handle business, if you please. Specifically, bite business. 
until it faints and goes away. Be intimidated. Yeah, I'd be intimidated too. This fish isn't playing around anymore. It has grown large. And it will eat you. Like so. Chomp. Get out of here. What you got next? <laughs> Looks like you've grown a bit. Only a little bit, though. If you're speaking specifically to Magikarp, it's actually grown substantially. I think you're really underselling the growth that this fish went through. Uh, Pooples, you leveled up. Congrats. Ooh, yawn. I don't know, your moveset's pretty good right now. Well, let's see what it is. Uh, yawn. It lulls the target into falling asleep next turn. Ah. Uh, next turn, though. Like, I already kind of like... No, like, if anything, I want, like, a better water move. I, I like this spread. Yawn can, uh... Yawn can sit it out. No thanks. All right, BD, what you got? Oh, yeah, Gothita. I sort of remember that. And let's just... You know, let's switch so someone else can get a little experience boost. How about, uh, cheesesteak? Get you some experience, cheesesteak. And then Draconthic will be right back in. Uh, cheesesteak, I've missed you. Boy, the thing's cute. Is this like an, is that like an early level Jinx? The face makes me think that maybe that's like a, like a first form Jinx, like the equivalent of Pichu to Pikachu, right? I think that's how that works. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Draconth, get out here and bite it, if you don't mind. We need those chomps. Competitive, huh? Special attack road sharply. Interesting. Does that happen if, like, uh... If you swap Pokémon out? Whoa! It's a cool-looking move, and it hurts. Uh, I hope I'm faster than you. I really do. You know what? No, I'm not taking chances. We're playing Nuzlite rules here. Not taking chances. Uh... Cheesesteak? I... Think... I mean, you're only level 19, so not ideal, but I think you can... Well, okay, now let's get somebody out here. I wish I could see their stats on this page, too. Uh... Hatticus, you're tough. I think you can withstand a hit while I heal Draconth. That's my hope. Heck, if you can withstand hits really well... Maybe I'll just have you stay out there. Yeah, you can take one more hit. Uh, let me start by using a Super Potion on Draconsk just as our backup, in case things get dire. Good. There we are. Okay. That's a really cool-looking move. Hmm, one more hit of that will definitely cause problems. Eh. Messy. Okay, Draconth. I think I can do it. We got full health now. And Bite may even cause this thing to flinch. And you are intimidating. <laughs> uh, actually... Oh, man. Rising its special attack is actually probably really gonna crush me. <laughs> it is. Draconth, you may be going down this time. That's all right. Maybe you can get in a bite? Yeah, good, you're faster. Oh, so close. Flinch? Ah, uh, nope. Sorry, Draconth. <laughs> you out. You did your best, though. You and Kira can hang on the bench for a while. And, uh... I don't know what your special defense is, cheesesteak, but I'm... You know what? No. Raz, go in and you'll be faster. You can finish business. 
handle things, if you don't mind. Uh, with a good old flame charge. Get that stab damage. And that speed rise. Yeah, there you go. That's what we need. That's what we need. There we go. Oh, congrats, cheesesteak. Uh, Haptena. Eh, this is fine, hopefully. <laughs> it's another psychic type, I'm pretty sure. Maybe with, like, a fairy also. Thinking about camping. Braz, you want to camp some more? Are you? Is your head not in the game right now? <laughs> uh, well, let's stick it out for this fight, all right? What does agility do again? Hmm, yeah, I don't need that. I'll just raise speed stat with this. Flame charge! All right, one more of those and we got this. Just don't faint or nothing. It's not every day I get to battle you, so I suppose I may as well try out this move. Psy beam, huh? Yikes. All right, not that yikes. <laughs> For your big fancy special move, that's actually nothing compared to what your last Pokemon had. <laughs> ah, we've done it. Unless this dork has another one. I wasn't paying attention. Do you have another one? Yep. Ponyta. Ah, all right. Ah, Draconth, you could have handled this just fine. But instead, Booples will do it. You can do this, Booples. All right. Excellent. Not everyone can corner my team like this. It is a pretty good team. Oh, I love this variant of Ponyta. It's so cute. And I don't think it's in Pokemon Sword as a catchable one, is it? I'll have to trade with somebody. Okay. Uh, you know? I don't know what moves it's going to throw at me. Water Gun's not the strongest. But I'm worried if I don't try to finish the fight somewhat quickly, this could get ugly. Uh... Let's start with this. Ah, you got psychic ability now. In fact, you may be all psychic all the time now, now that I think of it. And that's not going to do much. I was assuming that you were going to be like fire type still, but actually this variant may just lose that typing entirely and just be all psychic now. So, uh, Raz, you are needed quickly. Fortunately, quick is how you do everything. There you are. Now don't get too confused, all right? I know the Ponytoes are different out here, but that's no reason to feel confused. Hit him with a flame charge. Boom! Yes, one more of those, and we win it with this dork. Hang in there. You're doing all right. And you got lower health, so you actually do more damage now, I think. Hit it. Yeah. Victory. Get out of here, punk. Hey, congrats, Raz. It's about time we leveled you up some more anyway. Tough break, Beatty. You showed at least a little effort, so I decided I should let you win. <laughs> Thanks for your money. Ooh, Pooples. Pooples, you're going to evolve. What into? Oh my goodness, look at you. <laughs> You're a quagsire. <laughs> That's very cute. My goodness. Water ground. Oh, the waterfish. It has an easygoing nature. It doesn't care if it bumps its head on boats and boulders while swimming. <laughs> oh, quagsire. I like you. Ah, uh, pardon me. It seems I must take back my words. You're not weak. You just lack talent. Your chances of completing the gym challenge are pretty slim, I must say. Here, I'll give you this. Something to show you at least tried. I suppose I feel a little more sympathy for Hop now. <laughs> now where shall I go to collect wishing stars? Ah. Victorious again. And we need to go heal up. And actually, I guess we don't need to entirely heal up. We do need to swap out Draconth, though. Draconth, I'm afraid you have to go on the bench for a bit. Tough break. But them's the rules. 
I don't make the rules. Except for this specific rule, which I very much did make. So you go hang with Kira for a bit. Y'all think of something to talk about. Become buddies. All right. We should train up more water types, but maybe right now... Like, maybe we can save the water type training for a little bit later when we're actually going to be running into more of them. Maybe we should get a grass type in here to deal with some of the water types we've been running into. Or someone with more dark type moves for these psychic nonsense. We've not got a huge good spread of moves right now. Any grass psychics? I can't remember. I feel like we got one grass psychic, yeah? There's got to be one grass psychic in this mix. Wait. Box psychic. So close. No grass psychics yet. I'm surprised. I'm sure we'll find one eventually. You know what? Let's get Elvi in here. Elvi needs a turn. And it's our only ice type. Gotta start leveling you up a bit. In fact, I might use a candy on you just to kind of catch you up. That's kind of what I'm going to be using candies for. Like, not bumping up my main squad at all. Like to any sort of OP high level, just trying to keep, like, everyone sort of, uh, within the same range, you know? There you go. That should get you up into the 20s, maybe? Maybe? Or at least a 19. Okay, pretty close. You know, here, I'll give you a small one. And that will fix it. Can I sort these? I really want to sort these. There we go. That will make this stuff... E yeah, that's much better. <laughs> okay, let's get you up to 20 at least. Come on. Even 20 is still a little bit underpowered in this place. Ooh, you want to move, huh? Hail. Sure, I don't think your move set is incredible yet. Well, then again. Uh, let's see, we got Astonish. That's good. Ice Wind. Seems really good. Avalanche also seems really good. I take it back. Your move set's very good. Uh... Uh, someone's a hailstorm damages all Pokemon except ice types. It's kind of cool. Yeah, you know, I'm going to take that instead of mist. I mean, mist is also cool, but hail seems rad. Granted, leveling up LV is not going to help me for the next gym battle, <laughs> but uh, that's all right. Can't just be entirely focused on the upcoming gym battle challenge ahead. Or we'll get ourselves whooped by trainers on the way there. Can't have that tunnel vision. Get all healed up, everyone. Come on. Hmm. Well, close enough. Okay. We've barely made it into this darn cave. What sort of fishing is in here? Come on. Show me the fish. Show me fish. And... Ooh, you're neat. A barboach. Let's try out the quick ball. Yeah, let's uh, start using that more to speed up friend acquisition. And also progress through these <laughs> new environments. <laughs> We're moving through this game pretty slow. I mean, I'm enjoying it. I just don't... This doesn't need to be an 80-part series or anything. <laughs> All right, Barboach, welcome to team. Yeah, all right. So what do you do? What are you? I mean, water type of some sort, obviously. Water ground, okay. There's a lot of those. Its slimy body is hard to grasp. In one region, it is said to have been born from hardened mud. And you have whiskers. Let's think of a name for you. Yes, this will be perfect. Your name is... Hang on. Just sometimes I have to stop and check spelling. Uh... Uh, yes. Tin Whisker. Hello, Tin Whisker. Welcome to the team. I expect great things from you. Whoa! <laughs> Caught me by surprise there. Nightmare. Let's catch you so we can figure out what the heck you is. Get in the ball. 
Hmm, the same level as me, which might make this a little harder. Come on. Stay in the ball. Come on. Stay. Whew, okay. <laughs> I was a little worried this time. Stun Fisk. So, I'm thinking, like, electric, maybe... Ooh, nice. A lot of levels. Uh... Could be like poison though. Ooh, headbutt, cheesesteak. Let's have you forget tackle, so you can learn headbutt. That's quite powerful, actually. Yeah. Your tackling has been upgraded. Congratulations, cheesesteak. I love our team. <laughs> uh. Naming them all after you folks has made this so much more fun. Ground Steel. Oh, I wouldn't have called it. Uh, I trapped Pokemon. Uh, a Galarian form. Oh, so was Stun Fisk, did that like already exist in previous games? Uh, living in mud with a high iron content has given it a strong steel body. Cool. Okay. Frightening little thing. Let's give you a name. Well, this one doesn't really quite capture your essence quite so well as these other names, but it uh, certainly captures your shape. Uh, let's see here. Your name is going to be Taco Tuesday. Welcome to the team, Taco Tuesday. <laughs> some of y'all get sent in some very good names. And by the way, if any of y'all want to send in names like this, I'm leaving this like uh, survey thing open until basically the recording's done. So if you want to uh, add your name to this list, then just go become a patron at any level. Uh, on our Playframe Patreon, the link's down below, and you can add a name to this list. I got like 400 plus names right now, so uh, no guarantees that you will become a Pokemon, but uh, y'all have been giving me some very good names, and it's made this playthrough so very fun, so thank you all for making this even better than it would have been normally. Let's fight this dude. My Pokemon's bursting with energy. What I mean to say is, please battle me. <laughs> you got it, bud. You asked so nicely, Francis. I know some trainers who could learn from you. Hey! It's one of those. Alright. It's fire rock type, so we need water. I think this calls for... Unless ground is weak to rock, which I don't th think it is. In fact, it might be the other way around. Nope, I think this calls for booples. Boop it up, buddy. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think you're gonna do fine. <laughs> oh, boofles. All right, let's, uh... Well, you really need some stronger water moves. I need to teach you waterfall. I've got like a bunch of those TRs sitting in my inventory. So let's, uh, after this fight, we're teaching you some better moves. And I'm sure you'll probably learn better water moves very soon on your own, but... Why not hasten things a bit? I mean, even Water Gun's doing pretty good. Steam Engine? Oh, that's cool. Its speed rose drastically because it's fire and coal, and it hit it with water, so steam rises. That's... that's clever. I like that a lot. I mean, I don't love that it's faster, but I... you know. What is this move? What type is this move? Rock, maybe? Ah, whatever, you're dead. And down it goes! Yay! Good fight, Francis. A loss is a loss. My Pokémon lost its energy, too. Ah, we're making the monies. Did I equip? I did. I Hatticus has the, uh, the... You know what I mean. The thing that's giving me more money. Yes, that... That. <laughs> Poofles, we need to use a Super Potion on you. Good fight, though. And we need to... Uh, right. Yeah, I got like three waterfalls. And this is a good move. Uh, like 80 power, 100% accuracy, and might cause flinching. Like, yes, please. Uh, there's also Scald, which might leave a burn, and that's kind of cool. Hmm, uh, that's... I'm kind of torn. Flinching versus Scalding. Okay, this is a good, like... Uh, Y'all taught me things, and I'm learning. One of these is a physical attack move, and the other is special attack. Let me see which one Booples is better at. And that will make the decision. 
All right. Summary. You're better at regular physical attack, it looks like. Yeah, considerably. So cool. That decides it. I've learned, everyone. I'm getting better at Pokemon. That's another nice benefit of doing all of those uh, little Dynamax Den raid things. Uh, let's get rid of Water Gun. Yeah. Is that uh, in addition to getting a lot of candies, it also tends to drop a bunch of like TRs. Which is great kind of building up my inventory here. And honestly, I could probably be uh, improving a lot of my lineup with these. That'll be another good thing for me to do maybe over the weekend uh, between sessions is just uh, it, after leveling everybody up, seeing if I can kind of improve their moveset list a little bit with uh, some of the stuff I have. Make everyone even more powerful. Anyway, let's get just a little bit further in this here cave. Dusk Balls. A somewhat different Pokeball that makes it easier to catch wild Pokemon at night or in dark places such as caves. That's cool. I love all the Pokeballs and their themes and things they do. It's neat. Uh, all right, you're another... You're another... You're both sneaky little uh, trap Pokemon, right? I assume they always are. I assume they always are. But let's test. Ha! See? Ah, uh, that's cool. Little environmental hazards. You're a trainer, yeah? Let's do it. When I'm tired of work, it's time for a battle. I'll show you the muscles I've built up. Show me the muscles. Yvonne. Rog and Rolla. Okay. I think I fought one of those before. Yeah, like one of them. All right. Let's, uh, you're definitely a rock. I don't know if you're a combo rock, something else, but definitely rock. Uh... Let me remind myself what ice is good against, because it's good against several things. I don't think it's rocks, but it's something else. Okay, grass, ground, flying, and dragon. That's pretty good setup there. Like, again, not probably good for this, but still. Good. Uh, all right, fighting would be super effective against it. Maybe we'll just do that. In fact, this could be a perfect opportunity for cheesesteak or Sir Mallard. You know, we haven't gotten Sir Mallard out there yet. Wait, is fighting weak against rock? I don't think so. So thank you for your patience, by the way, as I have to stop and look at these things, everybody. I'm learning. And there's a lot of types. Mallard, get out there. I'm excited to see you in action. Yes. Ow. <laughs> it's not very effective, but still, it smarts. Get rock smashed. I'm gonna smash this rock. Bam! Awesome. And a critical hit. Yeah, I like Galarian uh, far-fetched quite a bit. Speed rose sharply, huh? That's no good. Don't tackle me. Little dork. Get rock smashed. Again. You know, I will say, uh, like, a lot, there, a lot of the criticisms of the animation in Pokemon games are, like, fairly, like, some of them are well-founded. A lot of them aren't. But some of them are somewhat well-founded, especially the ones that criticize that, like, a lot of the Pokemon that were introduced as of X and Y, uh, like, a lot of their battle animation is bland. I will say, though, that um, the animation of new Pokemon and new Pokemon variants in this are noticeably, to me, better than most of the other an the animation on most of the other Pokemon. Like, animations on Raz, animations on this far-fetched here, animations on basically anything that is new to Gen 8 is actually better than most of the animations uh, of the other Pokemon, which, like, that could well be what one of the big reasons why they wanted to, like, downsize the decks a bit. Not necessarily to make all the animations to, like, revise animations on older Pokemon, but to put in a little bit more time and love into the animations of new Pokemon that they were introducing and new trainers that they were introducing. Which is not a bad way to approach it because, like, 
if you're thinking in the long game, they're going to keep on making new gens. If they're continuing to like make new gens animation a little bit better, over time, the like quality of Pokemon battle animation will improve pretty considerably in the long run that way. And they do tend to have a pretty long sighted approach to Pokemon uh, like production. So yeah, I, I could see that actually being their strategy. That makes a lot of sense when I think of it that way. Anyway, Timber, fighting type. Uh, okay, yes. Let's get against fighting. Flying Psychic and Fairy, okay. Uh, Flying Psychic and Fairy. And I got a psychic move there and there, but I don't think they're actual damaging types. Hmm. Yeah, like I don't think guard split does damage. I don't remember. Uh. Yeah, whatever. Raz, do your thing. Pretty sure Timber was fighting type. Yeah. That is what my memory says. <laughs> Not that my memory is always super trustworthy, but... Well, this will work. It'll get the job done. Especially if it doesn't actually attack me. <laughs> Bad call, Timber. Raziel. Raz, you want to go to camp. All right, as soon as we get out of here, we're going to camp. Because you are clearly wanting some R&R. &R. And who can blame you? Hey, LV got a level. Good. Good, good, good. Yay. The muscles I use for work and for battle are different. <laughs> okay, let me get this Pokeball. Grip Claw. An item extends the duration of multi-turn attacks like Bind and Wrap. Oh, that's cool. That could be useful for somebody. Okay, we're going to camp. Ah, here we are, everyone. Isn't this nice? We're camping in a cave. Uh, how are you all doing? <laughs> yeah, some nice detail on even just the walk here for this far-fetched. There's the little leaves there. On the leak. <laughs> Hello. Alright, who wants to play? We have jingle toys. And a ball that people can fetch. LV. Wanna get a toy? Come on. Come get the toy. Come get it. Get it. Get it. Come on. There you go. Hey, Raz, you want to get the toy? You like the toy, yeah? Yeah. Come on, get it. Get it. Give it a kick. Come on. Hey, nice. Good job, both of you. Anyone else want to get on this? <laughs> Here, let's have a little fetch. Chase! Hello. <laughs> so friendly. Oh, hello to you too. Ah, goodness. So much activity. Mr. Boople seems to be worried about its surroundings. Oh, but why? Do you not like caves? Oh, do you want to play with other Pokemon? Well, go ahead. Hey, good kick, Raz. Hmm. None of y'all love these surroundings, huh? But you're happy because it played a lot. <laughs> That's one of my favorite animations in this game. It's so good! So much characterization. Uh, alright, go play, you. Uh, I love my little Pokemon crew. Hatticus, do you want to chase a ball? Wooloo. Well, don't chase Wooloo. Wooloo is a ball. Wooloo, get the ball. Hatticus, get the ball. Someone get the ball. Good catch, Hatticus. <laughs> What good fetching. Uh, camp is great. Uh. <laughs> I love the way Wooloos roll around. All right, let's go ahead and call it an episode. Y'all, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for some more Pokemon Sword. Y'all take care and goodbye.